We got a tie game, folks. It's 15 to 15 for the endocannabinoids who just got 10 uh, and the cannabinoid receptors who already had 15 points. And so uh, it's, it's, it's just head to head right now. Thanks, Tony, for, for picking it up and uh, helping the endocannabinoids again back in the game. And uh, thanks for the use of the equipment as well. Um, much appreciated. So tonight's uh, <coughs> next sort of question is uh, our second challenge point, or challenge question, worth 10 points, where uh, each team has to write a list. And there uh, oh, you go. Oh, you need one. So tonight's list question for 10 points uh, that is, the 10 points will go to the team that writes the longest list of stores that give members discounts in the Cannabis Digest. And you lose a point if you mention a store that's not in there. But uh, if you go into the back of our newspaper, we have sort of three lists. We have our calendar of events for Hempology. We list other medical dispensaries across Canada. And then uh, we list stores that give discounts of 5 to 15 percent to members of the Cannabis Buyers Club. As I mentioned, I have about 3,200 sick people now that I'm in, in, taking care of, and uh, part of what we try and do is get discounts at hemp stores and uh, clothing stores, hydroponic stores. I shouldn't say too much because I'm giving out hints, but we try and get as many different businesses, especially local small businesses, like Walmart's not on the list, that's a hint, I guess, but uh, you know, we're really trying to, to network uh, on, on the island and, and with small locally owned businesses and stuff. Actually, we're going beyond the island, I shouldn't say that, but... Can I Walmart um, uh, selling Team 420 um, shirts? Awesome. No, but you can get Team 420 shirts at Sacred Herb. Oh, damn. Well, that's probably something they already knew, but yeah, your Team 420 stuff you can get there, and other stuff Hempology sells too. I forget to promote all the stuff I have going on. But uh, anyway, I should tell you a bit about endocannabinoids and cannabinoid receptors, given that's the names of our teams tonight. It's a really interesting story. The first thing they discovered was THC, right? Like, you know, the scientists are wanting to make drugs out of plants, and so they're looking at this one, looking at that one. So it wasn't until 1969 that in uh, uh, Jerusalem, University of Jerusalem, uh, uh, Dr. I'll never say it right, McCoolin or something. Anyway, he discovered THC in the plant, right? Most active ingredient. But not the only one. In fact, there's about 70 cannabinoids, they've called them. They're pretty closely related chemically. THC is sort of the, uh, the best of the bunch, though, you might say. Um, some of them uh, uh, have different effects. Well, they all do, right? There's all 70 um, that, that will affect you uh, in different ways. Now each plant only contains 6 to 12 of that group of 70 cannabinoids, which is why each strain is a little bit different. Then they all have essential oils, terpenes, flavonoids. Again, they're all chemically a little bit different. In fact, some think it's those essential oils, the terpenes, that have a, a significant medical benefit and a, and a benefit on you. That's why the smell matters so much. You don't smell THC, you smell essential oils why sometimes you smell certain strains like God and it's like oh it's just it's beautiful you know you just feel it in your body you get a little rush because your brain and everything re remembers what that's going to do for you and so uh, yeah the, the oils make a big difference as well to be sure but anyway so they discovered THC right so it's like okay well this works so well with the body like how does it interact what does it attach itself to so they discovered cannabinoid receptors they're like baseball gloves sort of throughout your body you have all sorts of receptors and you produce all sorts of hormones and chemicals right but you basically you know throughout your body you've got these kind of loose hanging gloves and your body will release certain chemicals in the bloodstream and when those chemicals find the right receptor they bind to each other and so they discovered these receptors, they're, they're, there's two different kinds, but the cannabinoids all attached to them, like a ball into a glove that was made for it, just perfectly. And so they discovered them all through the brain, through your memory, your higher thinking, your motor skills, 
um, they discovered it all through your body. Your pretty much every system in your body, your muscular system, your respiratory system, your uh, immune system, your skeletal system, your reproductive system, your endocrine system, all of these systems in your body have got receptors. Nice. Like, wow. uh, I'm, I'm so busy, I, it's hard to make, but take care, buddy. And uh, here we go again. So uh, was this one yours? Sorry, I can't remember. Yeah, okay. So here we got uh, Chippy, Sacred Herb, Hemp and Company, Old Town. Ah, Old Town isn't around anymore, right? Okay, but it's oh, it's in there. Oh, damn, that's right. Okay. See, I get corrected all the time. I thought I was being a smart ass. But uh, obviously she's got it too. Yeah, I see it there. Okay, uh, Old Town, Old Nicks. Uh, I think that's supposed to be fiber options. Uh, cannabis culture. Ruffian Apparel, good one. Man of the Van, yeah, we got a member of the Van who gives discounts. The Rasta Troll, uh, Devilish Damsel, it's called. Hempology, one of, yeah, that's right, the Rasta Troll isn't in there. What am I saying? No, they want it to be, but I'm just not happy with all the cheap Chinese glass they sell. Is that out loud on tape? Uh oh. Yeah, no, make it out loud on tape. Support local I, art. No, I said it. I'm standing behind it. Anyway, yeah, support your local glass blowers. Um, Devilish Damsels. Hempology 101. I don't think Hempology is in there either. So another ant. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten good ones, two bad ones. You're left with eight. So here, Sacred Herb, Trippies, Hemp and Company, Old Town, Shift, Old Nicks. Revolution on the drive, commercial drive. Holy cow, these guys are deep. Mr. Fertilizer, Canvas Culture, Puff in Vancouver. There's three puffs listed in there. Damn, you're good. Okay, the Vancouver Seed Bank, Ruffian, get hooked fishing. Yeah, we have a member of the fishing company, Indoor Jungle and the Smoke Zone. Uh, wow, I'm not even going to add that up. You guys just rocked that one. Smoke yeah. Zone's in the Nanaimo. And, uh, yeah, if you ever want to do a, a wicked weekend camping, um, my friend with the uh, boat last summer dropped us off on Discovery Island, the island off of uh, Oak Bay, and for the cost of uh, uh, what would normally be a fishing day, picked, dropped us off at the beach one day, picked us up a couple days later, and it's a totally deserted island. You stay the whole weekend on the beach, you don't see anybody. So his contact information's in there. Good times. And... 10 points, the cannabinoid receptors have uh, picked up uh, a, a lead with that, and so now they got 25, and the endocannabinoids, oh damn, maybe we should just put it flat in the ground here, guys. Yeah, I'm just going to flip it back this way. But uh, yeah, there's uh, lots of points left here, so game's not over yet, that's for sure. So we're at our music question, 25 to 15. So for uh, 15 points, or sorry, 20 points, what am I saying? What song says the following words? Damn, I can't even read my writing. There it is, forward motion, make you sway like the ocean. The herb is more than just a powerful potion. If you know that, and I know some of you guys do, please, like, Keep it to yourselves for just a minute or two more. We got this game show happening here. For 20 points, what song says, forward motion, make you sing like the ocean. The herb is more than just a powerful potion. Okay, what's your guess? No, it's not Bob Marley. And I will take the artist or song, but it's not Bob Marley. Artist or song, I should have said that, 25 points. Oh, no, no, slow down, slow down, but uh, you guys going to take a stab out of here? It would give you the lead, you're 10 points behind, so what's your guess here, Steve? Ozzy Osbourne, no, it's not, Sweet Leaf, Black Sabbath, uh, one, one of my favorite uh, artists and songs, no, it's, it's 10 points now, uh, forward motion, make you sway like the ocean. The herb is more than just a powerful potion. Um, this band has got uh, several songs that include cannabis in it.